LED, if that's what you're referencing, referencing those are all designed to stay within our, our illumination ordinance. Um, so I, I know that we're well under that. Um, in terms of uh, the, the, the assessment tonight, I mean, I don't, I don't think that plays a role one way or another, but uh, I know that with the LED that we're talking about with the, uh, what is the uh, shielding that they use that, that allows the light to project, everything is well under the City of Taylor ordinance requirements. I, I understand that. I, I'm only saying some, some homeowners, homeowners in some areas, while some improvements in busy street areas may be comfortable for businesses and, and traffic. But in some residential areas, you know, some residents like the low light. So, you know, while we improve it, we also have to take into consideration what residents in certain areas may or may not want as a matter of enjoying the comfort of their areas and their homes. So that's 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 all the comments that I have. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else? I'm not sure we can motion to close the public hearing. Fourth, motion to approve closing the public hearing to determine the necessity of street lights. My council member is supported by Councilman Woodcroft. Any discussions? If there are none, all those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item number eight, I have a motion to approve the necessity of street lights, special assessments in the following districts 772, 773, 774. 
19, made a motion to approve establishing a winter special assessment rule to collect county drain charges for the approved Motion to approve. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Cross, support by Councilman Gardner. Any discussion? Councilman Gardner, you're the only one who has any discussion. All those in favor say yes. Yes. All those no. Motion carries. Item number 15, made a motion to approve removing easements and deed restrictions from the October 9, 2007 quick claim deed for property purchased by Mr. Walter Ruff from the City of Taylor, identified as 60-0220400018000 on the attached document. Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Gardner, supported by Councilwoman Cross. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those no. Motion carried. Item number 16, made a motion to approve establishing a 2015 winter special assessment rule for the purpose of collecting fees for false alarms based on the attached documents. The amount to be collected, actually billed, is $38,451. Thank you, Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Wood, supported by Councilman Becerra. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 All those no. Motion carried. Item number 17, made a motion to approve rescinding the administration fee of $500 for grass cutting charges for the vacant property owned by BAH Ventures for the month of August and September, and we will be still charging them the $90 for the two grass cutting charges. This is the amount of the administration fee. Okay. Support. Motion by Councilman Cross, supported by Councilman Becerra. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. We have a motion to approve home deferred loans for homeowners number 2016-10 and 2016-11 in the amount of $7,025 plus a 10% contingency for a total amount of $7,728 through Optimum Contracting Solutions for a quote funded through the Community Development Block Grant Home Repair Program and this does not exceed the program as yet. Make a motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilman Becerra. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. May I have a motion to approve authorizing the mayor to sign a purchase agreement on behalf of the city of Taylor for the sale of parcel ID 600-700-102-51000. Proceeds will go to the general fund. Motion to approve. Support. Motion by Councilman Becerra, supported by Councilman Johnson. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Item number 18, made a motion to approve the sale of the Taylor Park Lane Association Property Tax Credit Program and Property Tax Credit Program. Proceeds will go to the general fund. Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Becerra, supported by Councilman Johnson. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Item number 18, made a motion to approve the intergovernmental agreement between the County of Wayne and the City of Taylor for the acceptance of ownership, liability, and maintenance of sidewalks installed as part of the improvements to Eureka Road from Allen Road to Rock Road and authorize the mayor to sign said intergovernmental agreement. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman McCross, supported by Councilman Woolley. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Item 21, may I have a motion to approve the intergovernmental agreement between the County of Wayne and the City of Taylor for the improvement of Eureka Road from Allen Road to Rock Road and authorize the mayor and the clerk to sign said intergovernmental agreement. Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilman Becerra. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Item 22,
2022. We have a motion to receive and file the list of equipment that was sold at auction. A check for $39,576 was received and provided to the finance director for deposit. Motion by Councilman Cross. 